what is experiential learning? So, when I came here, I myself didn't know. What I gathered from the subject is, you know, learning by experience. So, on my first day, I met some seventh graders and I asked them what do you want to learn. So, they said they want to learn cooking. So, I said we'll do that. So, then we formulated an entire module on diabetes, waters and millets. And the basic idea being there are two major problems facing the country and the world. One is the diabetes and the second is the water shortage. And both these problems, millets have a very strong role to play because millets can help regulate the blood sugar levels. It also grows in very less water. So we designed a bunch of activities around it. So we first made the students go to the computer labs, do the research on millets, do research on diabetes, do research on water problems. They made a presentation. Then we had them visit the farm. So they visited a paddy farm, they transplanted the paddy. They also visited a millet farm and they actually saw that, you know, water requirement for the paddy farm, it was filled with water and millet, it was not really there. So then we had them go to the kitchen, actually make a millet recipe. And our teachers helped us, you know, Everybody was very cooperative and they made millet recipes that they had. They ate also, they liked it. Plus, we also made them do survey about diabetes in their friends and families. So they called up their parents and uh, they talked to them, they asked them about how many people have diabetes. So, internet, they got theoretical knowledge. From the parents' survey, they also surveyed people group school. They figured out that diabetes is there, it's a real problem. They actually visited the farms, they spoke to the farmers, they interviewed them and all. And finally they made a dish they ate for themselves. So the idea being, you know, these are the formative years and once they get this idea, then later in their life, these are the challenges that they are actually going to face. And uh, our education system does not really solve these problems, does not equip them to handle these challenges. So I thought this was a very good opportunity to teach them or, you know, at least sensitize them and also point towards possible solutions.